Tá em live, né? John! John! Man! Como está aí? Hey, man! What's going on? Are you looking at me right now? What's going on? Oh! Perfect. Ok, you have to take out the audio. I listen. No, allora, togli il mio audio. Opa, let's see if we have audio video. Tutto perfetto, ci sentiamo. Ok, John, try to speak just to see to test if they can hear. Testing. Testing. It's 11, perfect. 10, 9. Tutto perfetto. Ok, John, I will introduce just in two seconds in Italian and then we go. Anyway, you understand Italian. Oh, ragazzi, questa è una serata un po' particolare per me perché voi, voi dovete sapere che io con quel signore lì ci ho creato tutta la mia storia, ho iniziato tanti 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 anni fa, proprio ho trovato quel signore lì in America, abitava a Santa Monica, già all'epoca era un grandissimo, però poi nel tempo è diventato ancora più grande, più grande, più grande, infinito, è l'uomo che ha realmente inventato il porno, il gonzo, lo stile, ha creato veramente tutto lui con la passione, con la fantasia, tutto quello che oggi noi facciamo, quello che abbiamo imparato, tantissimi consigli, viene da quel signore lì, il grandissimo John Stagliano. John, I had to make this introduction, you know. Yeah, you... well, it was a little long. Yeah, there. but you deserve it because I said, thanks to you, the Gonzo, the new era of Gonzo start. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, although you <laughs> took it to another level, sir. <laughs> what, do you mean, you were... what do you mean kind Without... of? What do you mean kind of? Everybody knows this. I, I remember when I yeah. started making movies, was camera, big camera, 35 millimeters. And when I came to you, Nobody believed that could be the new era, but you understood much time before everybody else. Yeah, well, it's it's about the picture, you know. It's about how good you get in the frame and what the picture looks like. Mm -hmm. And the technical, yes, of course, that's nice. But if you've got a big camera and you want to try and get the picture, you can't get it as easy. And, and it's hard to do the gonzo and the talking. I didn't really do it well in the first couple of movies. I had the big camera. Do you remember? I remember very well, but you already knew what you want to do, even though you had a big camera. Yes, I did. But it wasn't as good as it got a little later, you, I think. You know what we always said with my cousin Gabriel, that uh, Sony, Panasonic and Canon, they should give you some percentage of all the cameras they sell, thanks to you, because you start to make movies with I those know. cameras smaller and smaller, and they start to sell it, a lot of those cameras, because everybody tried to do at home. Well, maybe um, I could get a trade and just look at what's captured on those little cameras. Oh, there's tube sights. I can do it anyway. No. <laughs> That was bad. So, bad so John, how is, uh, before I read some question, how is uh, the situation in Los Angeles with uh, the business, Corona, how it is? What is we supposed, well, we supposed to do a movie in one month. Yeah, that's not going to happen, Rocco, <laughs> I, I don't know. think. I don't think. You know? So we're shut down. I don't know when we're opening up. It's possible that in a week or so, some non-essential stores will be able to do some careful opening. But I don't know if that's going to happen uh, in May, early May. Maybe not. It's we Actually, we had the social distancing and stuff a little early here than the rest of the country. And we have not suffered It is bad, but, um, you know, I got a test this morning for the Corona antibodies mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. right here. And there. they give you the answer already? No, no, no. I don't think I haven't checked my email for like an hour. Okay. Oh, but, uh, but what about the, but I don't think what, it's coming that fast. What about the business? Know. Is, uh, is there is any idea when you guys start to work again? Uh, I, I'm not hopeful. Because uh, unless they, it, I don't think things are going to be anything like normal until we have a good vaccine. And that could be a while. So you're talking about you know? maybe the business will stop until then? I mean, there is no halfway, no. like people can get tested before to do this. Well, shoot? that, of course, if, if, if we get tested every two weeks, you know, in the business. So we're good at testing. So hopefully they'll let that happen. But to do a bigger production like, say, Fashionistas with a lot of extras and people on the set, that may become problematic and that then everybody's got to be tested 
and is you just going to have negatives on the side or are you going to have any positives or what, are they going to stay to, you know negatives are i mean positives if your body has developed the antibodies theoretically you might not be able to get it again so mm-hmm. that's not even known yet uh, oh kappa oh kappa but, rocco rocco i got a script i got a script did i send it to you yeah. I, i've been working on it i saw it and Angela white i sent you part of it um and we wouldn't even have to do sex. It could be a non-porn movie. I don't know. <laughs> I just had to start writing about yeah, but, there's just but, so much. But the problem is that Trump doesn't let me fly to the to America. That's the main problem. Yeah. When is that going to change? I don't know. We, we do have to worry about that ever happening. Fuck, man. It's got to happen soon. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, yes, guys. We were working to a huge project, Fashionistas, the new Fashionistas, and nobody could believe that we were already sh- start shooting in Los Angeles in February, but nobody could believe that we had to stop because the Corona. Nobody ever. It was the something incredible. Fashion. Wait, here's one. There's the box. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, Sorry. in that house, that living room, I shot a few great scenes. Wait, I'm not supposed to show that. Anyway, and there's posters up against the wall in Fashionistas. You can yeah. see one, right? Yeah, we can there. see. We can see. But uh, okay. I see the place where I shot with Riley Reed and uh, yes. Made Your Riley in uh, just behind yes. you. Yes, and I was jerking off to what was going on just behind <laughs> me right here. I do remember those yes, shots quite there, well. where you do dance classing. Yeah, I could. I, I, I have a bar, and I have a... I'm in pretty good shape. I actually had a really good workout today, sir. Especially especially if the means. fans know your age, they will never believe. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but you can you can say your age. Come on, you are not a girl, uh, John. How old am I? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I you know what? I am exactly three weeks older than, than Joey Silvera. Old is Joey. I really old is Joey. I really Joey Silvera. Joey Silvera. Old is Joey. How old is Joey? I don't know. I don't know. I call him. I call him. Wait, wait. no, 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 no. No, <laughs> no, look who's there. How old is oh, Joey? This is the there. best. That's great, There's a guys. Here. I, I There's swear to God, ragazzi, non lo sapevo che c'era anche Joey Silvera. Ah. Look at this. This is fantastic. John, we don't. Is... He- yeah, we don't hear you. We lost your voice. You lost my voice. Now it's okay. Now oh. it's okay. Minchia, 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 super minchia. Hey, what does minchia mean anymore? Minchia means a big cazzo in Sicilian. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I don't need to know that, I guess. Fuck. Minchia, minchia, minchia. Hey, guys, you know, those two guys are really the legend there. You only have 241 people. <laughs> Wait a second. He can't hear. He can't hear. I'm going to pull this out for a second. You know why? Because Joy is, is live. He's watching us live. Minkia. 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 <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Joy, you have a lot of people saying, Wait, Joy Silvera, Minkia, the legend. Okay, guys. He's outside. I just He's can't outside. Him, okay, Joy, the one to know what is your house in Malibu, right? Yeah, it's in well, it's in Malibu, kind of close in on the mountainside, but it's really nice because it's been raining, you know. So it's really nice. so the hillside. <laughs> Look, Joy, he's the best with the mask. Unbelievable. Oh, interesting. Anyway, I'm happy. That's you know, I've got this house to go to. I'm a little better off than some people. That's incredible, sure. incredible place. Look and at I, this. This is the first person that's visited me. It's the first time. It's the first time in a I've month or two. I can't remember when it um, started. It's the first time I've driven outside my house. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, man, only Ralph. Only uh, Joy has also spectacular house, guys. Where he shoots oh. all his movie, you see the all, all Los Angeles. He's on top of the sign, right? Almost. Yeah, your house. I was just looking at yeah. that Andy Lynn or something. Um, Whatever her name is. Yeah, yeah. We're too close. <laughs> That's I'm too close. You know, Charlie has 245 people. Malibu, Malibu, Malibu. 
Emi uh, John, John, Emilio ask Emilio Franchin ask what was your job before porn? Everybody is interested about this. <laughs> job before porn. Well, let's see. The very first thing I ever did was 1973, and I was still a student at UCLA. So I answered an ad at the placement center. They wanted somebody to do. They wanted girls. But I talked to the guy, I wrote a story for him, porno stuff. <laughs> anyway, that was my, my, so I was a student. But before that, I had like six jobs. I was a cab driver in Chicago for a little while. I got fired for hitting the stop of a, a, a stopped bus, whatever. So <laughs> I was, it's a long story. Anyway, I got fired for that. I worked, uh, what did I do, Joey? I did a lot of shit. I did a lot of shit. I had to join the Teamsters Union three times in two years. It's fucked up. Three Beat times in two years. Yeah, three times, and they they would take they would take their their initiation fee out of your pay, and I was making a dollar ten an hour for one of these things. Working as a I worked as a ticket taker because I worked for Andy Frayn Ushers. We did like uh, baseball games and soccer games and what well, year was that? hockey? Nineteen seventy one, man. Nineteen seventy one. I saw Bill Newton pitch a no hitter. Against, I can't remember who, it was a cold day in this frame. But there is anyway. big people here, uh, there is many people who know your story. They say, Aldo Giacchetto says, you are in porn from 76. Is that right? No. 74. 73 wow, for me. Wow, First time. Wow, 73. I beat Mama him. Mamma mia, enjoy? 74. Well, I, I didn't do a hardcore thing until the summer of 74. And I did, uh, and I did, uh, what I do? What I did, uh, a, a, a loop with some uh, girls in, uh, San Francisco. It was kind of weird. Mr. Reed said, uh, he starts with a serious question. How much internet has changed porn since you guys are there from so long? All right. Joey, man, I don't know what the fuck. Is. How much is internet change? I'm gonna get my camera in a different spot, and I'm gonna sit down okay. over here. How much internet change porn? How much is internet change porn? Wait, you guys yeah, can hear me okay, perfect. right? Because we're on a different speaker. Pull up your chair, man. And he's got, and Joey is. There's Pacific Coast Highway behind us, and somebody on a motorcycle just drove by. <laughs> Anyhow. So, are you down yeah. there, Rocco, in the picture? I can't. Yeah, I'm there. I'm yeah. always so, there. Don't move. Okay. I don't know. Oh yeah, but you're over. Me. You're 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 blocking my face. No, absolutely oh, not. You know, I'm on the corner, on the left corner below, uh, right corner below you, and you are like, getting the old picture. It's it's the guy from uh, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, he's <laughs> Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins, ragazzi, dovete yeah. sapere che Joy Silvera è un mito, un mito. L'avete due miti veri, due legend, the real two. So, how much, how much porn has changed from internet to before? In a few words, catastrophic, oh, interesting, fun, or was better before? Okay, from the point of view of a consumer. It's never been better, man. I go on tube sites to get all this stuff for free. It's really cool. <laughs> uh, what can I, I say? Know. It's not full scenes, I but man, I, you know, porn up. They're all, I shouldn't do, say that name. Fuck. That horrible, those horrible people. But from the point of view of a producer, it's been catastrophic. So Catastrophic. Yeah. Catastrophic. catastrophic. John, we, yeah, do, I'm John to, we don't see just, you anymore. We see, we see joy. Yes, that's better. That's it's better. Bad. That's better. Now it's better. Wait. I'm talking, let me go over here, maybe. Hannibal please. Lecter, come in. Hannibal Lecter, come in. No, he can't. He can't. Why? He's on the other side. He's on the other side of this fucking thing. But why? Because why? We're doing social distancing. Yeah, we just, you can't go in his house. Really? We're not, we're not, we're not in quarantine together. Ah, okay, okay. And okay. So, I mean, well, because, I mean, you're just, you, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm Minkia. He's Minkia. He's Minkia. So hey, where, please, uh, let's me. let's go to another question. Which was okay. which was for both of you the best year on par? Oh my God, I know. For me, Ooh. different from you. But what was yours? That's tough call. Man. Oh man, there was a year. Mm -hmm. 
when God, your head's getting, I'm trying to get exposure. Anyway, so uh, 2003 AVN Awards. I won for Fashionista's best film, and you won best video. Mm -hmm. I or, remember, uh, yeah. Ask Collector. I remember, Ask Collector. And we were on stage. It was like, you know, the two top awards went to Evil Angel. That was pretty good. It was the best year that ever was, for me. That was the best year. Yeah. And you're the star of Fashionistas, too, but, so obviously but you, it was But you made, you made a lot of more movies than this. I remember Buddha win lots of prize, too. Yes, Buddha was fun. Uh, Goose, Goose but, Chase, um, Goose Chase. Wild Goose Chase, that was Joey's starring vehicle. Yeah. Joseph Calapigi. It was. Calapigi is a word. Calapigi, his last name was Calapigi <laughs> in the movie. Calapigi means like uh, somebody who likes big ass or something. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Is that what it means? Is that an, Ital it's an Italian word, right? Yeah. Does it mean anything? Uh, not too much. Okay. So, well, jo uh, John, there is fans here who wants to know your story. You start as director or as an actor? Well, serious, the first thing I did was a stupid little fuck off, man. <laughs> fuck off. I was never as good as you guys. I know, I know. I, was, I, was, I would never hire myself, really. I did a couple times, but I'm not very good. No, I started, I wrote a story. I answered an ad at the placement center at UCLA when I was looking for part-time work. This guy in Hollywood, Bill Margold, was looking for actor actresses. He wanted girls for pretty girl modeling, nude modeling. This is 1973. And uh, I, I, he, I, I went in and I talked to this guy, and I had better exposure on the camera. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. Come on, camera. <laughs> anyway, I went in and I talked to uh, Bill Margold, and, um, and I told him that I wanted to be a writer, too and stuff so he sent me out on this job to write about it actually i wrote a story first i wrote a porno story for him he liked it and put it in a little porno newspaper and then I, from there he sent me out on a job to write about that and i wrote about a couple things i met a photographer and and uh, whatever i got to do some hardcore porno uh just after that and uh but in the 70s was like there was nothing being shot, man. There was no shot on video stuff. It was all film. He was the guy doing the good stuff. He was the hero, man. In what? In porn. <laughs> Joy Silvera, John Leslie, all those guys was yeah. the big star of the 70s, the 80s, but also the 90s because I met, I made so many production with Joy all over the world yeah. uh, and to end with you together. You remember in Brazil, Joy, when we were waiting for uh, Bootman? Bootman in the airport, what? but uh, yeah, John in the John, airport. John, so, but John, remember you remember the first time we meet? I came to you, and uh, I, you with uh, with Fred Lincoln Bootman. and pa Patty Rhodes, and Patty brought me her to 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 you. Yes, I and, was just and, thinking and you that. and you let me read uh, in English, and you say read me some line, and then you say oh come back when you speak better, <laughs> and then I come back with Zara Whites. <laughs> Listen, I, I often use that as an example of how um, I have no idea how to write with an accent. I tried to write words like I had heard you say, you know, and, and then when you had to memorize them, you said, I can't understand any of this. <laughs> I know. And, you know, your English wasn't that good either back then, sir. It got a lot better. I know. It I was think. terrible, and it is still terrible, my English, because I'm not practiced. Oh unfortunately so good but uh, at that time i remember it was difficult uh therese here anna deville watching us and uh, she said say hi oh, wow. to john and to joy please do you know anna deville man anna yeah. deville. she's a sweetheart man i almost know her fantastic you, he almost fantastic her. Uh, joy said she wants to shoot anna with ts he told me he told me and yeah. anna said no problem yes so she's in Ambassador of porn. She's fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> she is unbelievable. Giuseppe, She's a Gi Giuseppe Tridente wants to know what's happening with Sheena's show. Sheena show. Oh, oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. I don't oh, know. No, oh, no. Oh, no. I, that's all confidential information. She's semi retired, but she's been doing uh, updates. I think she's got five on evilangel.com where she shot herself in the solo masturbation. It's 
Wow. And she's really good. Oh, yeah. Puts the camera yeah. in the right places and everything. And she's wearing wardrobe. It's pretty John, good. there is here a guy who's the biggest fan in porn in Italy, but he knows all of you guys. He knows where you come from. He told me, John Saliano from Chicago. Okay, he knew this already, Chicago. And you know, and you know what that means, Chicago in Italian. Then he said, John... Oh, did you get you? did you get your phd to be a professor of economy no no i yes i wanted to that was my goal in life and i got a ba well i technically finished my undergraduate stuff at ucla and then i i uh tried to i i, I got turned on to porn man but how and does I, he know I, this how does he know this is it's because it's written somewhere in some bi biography or something okay but I, Okay, that is yeah. that goes to the first first. You know, we have people from India watching also, and from Hungary. Laszlo Aranyos say, "You guys are super profi star in Hungary." And he tried to write English, say "super profi stars." So he knows you guys. So first question, Alessandro Paina, uh, <laughs> for both of you, what's your favorite position? That's funny because they ask this to the girls. That's the first time they ask to the men. What's my favorite position yeah. for the man? For you, to well, fuck a girl. I, Where do you feel more comfortable? In which position? To fuck a girl? Yeah. Um, well, that's a little, you know, I, I personally <laughs> would like a girl on top of me like this with my, um, oh, you can't see me, with, with like her head and her mouth down my, over my penis and <laughs> now. Really hard. And her ass in my face. Ah, that's what we know. Smothering. That's not smothering. 69 is smothering. Yeah. It's yeah. reverse. But it's reverse right trombone. I, it's reverse I, trombone. Or five foot two, her ass would be right here. And, and if she was very limber, I could have her suck my dick at the same time. That's my favorite position. I, 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 can, I can call this reverse rusty trombone. <laughs> oh well uh, there's that too yeah you know, it's a little it's bit funny. strange because the rusty trombone is the man getting rimmed from the girl and she jerk you off yeah. that's fantastic but but yes. smothering on the opposite that's normally smothering right smothering yeah Smoth and yeah. Oh, joy De definitely definitely the last like six years or more of my career it was eating ass because i couldn't get hard anymore okay and then I did wild goose chase for John, and I had to eat a girl's ass, his big ass, and I was there. Wait. The wild goose chase. <laughs> no, no, the big girls, right over there in the, your house. And I got fucking hard like crazy. And I said, yeah, oh. I do not know what you're talking you, you about. You introduced man. Oh, come on, what are you man. Talking about? She was kind of dominating. <laughs> Joy, John, I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something happening to everybody at a certain time. It saved my career. Yes. He is so full of shit. No, it's a true story. He's so John, full of shit. John, Wait. John, John, you know why I think it's true? You know why I think it's true? You know why I think it's true? He has good memory because I remember all the time I shot for you, the Batman. I want to go and let the girl suck, suck my dick. I want to go and fuck you. Say, no. Don't move, don't move, stay there, stay on the ass, don't move, stay okay. there. Okay, so wait. I, I so just, that, I, that's know? really fucking incredible yeah. because I became obsessed with the ass too. Now I, have, I need the same thing, eat ass all the time I want, if I want to have my dick yard. <laughs> so, so who do we blame this first, on? Did I learn position. this from my camera? First position. <laughs> Stripper. First position. There was what a the strip, There was a How stripper in Seattle, and she used to bend over in the club in the corner, and she would reach down and play with my dick while she's bent over and play with my nipples right while she, her ass is in my face. That stripper. <laughs> How did this happen, Rocco? I don't know, but that, how did this happen? Was, I don't know, but you needed the. I, I don't know, but uh, the same. I, I think the age, the age, helps to have the ass. And Version. The D card, the age wants the ass on the face, wants the smothering, wants the smell. But why does it make you hard? What? Why does it make you hard? I, I don't understand. I, does I, love, it I, love, I, don't I love the smell. It's, it's only I don't know. smell. I don't it's only smell. smell. I don't know. <laughs> I can't explain. Everybody should yeah. try it. 
if they haven't done it. They should to try. I completely, yeah, completely. So they, uh, John, 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 no, no John. You just get hot. No, what? what? This is crazy. Really, when I was young, I've, and I dated girls, if, if the girl licked my ass, I knew that it was a winner. Hold on to her. Because, you know, it's kind of like this dividing line, or it was, back in the 70s or so, sir. Anyhow, where you knew you had somebody there when she was into it. And really, you know. Uh, I remember, I remember those better. times, but not like you guys. I remember when uh, I remember my movie in... Uh, in Italy with Joy and John, I was just starting probably. They were big star come from America. To me, it was like, you know, watching uh, De Niro and uh, Brad Pitt on the set. It's the same story. So we were just bringing the bag to the to the production, American production. They used to call me, Christophe, or other people just to do small scenes. But we saw this. You know, the, 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 well, the, so we didn't really leave that time. I remember I worked one time with Porsche Lynn, Barbara there, and the attitude was incredible. Well, those girls yeah, were great. In Europe, I mean, you never work with the girls like this, with this kind of attitude. It was always very cold, almost like they didn't want to show off that they like it. It was the opposite. Well, but, okay. I, it does seem like that has changed, though, over the years. And there's a lot of really good European Incredible, girls yes. now. Or what totally, we, totally, uh, totally. Yeah. Totally. So we have a guy here asking about probably the main star today in America, Angela White. What do you guys think about Angela? I don't know. Joey shot Angela. What do you think? <laughs> Only shot her. <laughs> Come on, Angela. Yeah, I want, I it's not fair. Again. It's not fair. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, it's just not fair yeah. that anybody could be that pretty and voluptuous and smart and easygoing and nice. And She's in the it's moment. It's not fair. It's just not fair. She's always in the moment. It's not <laughs> fair, Rocco. Giovanni Sinatra, say, Giovanni Sinatra said, John Joy, what kind of skill an actor or an actress needs to have to become a really true superstar? Ooh. You guys are Ooh. you guys are the legend, so that's the, the, the kind of question they do. No, I'm not a legend as a I'm, performer at all, but no, you guys. No, no, no. You are a director, John. You made some of fantastic movies. You know exactly what an actor needs to have. An actress? Girl. The director boy and girl. The what? Boy and the girl. First, you gotta hire the right actor. Boy and, and really? girl. To, to really make the director happy, you Unfortunately, you have to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, that's like the bottom. This if is you're not story. hard, you have to be hard. hard. And, and then, then, you know, everything else kind of follows. And then, and but, then a director, but, can, a director but, can take it and go with it and make you better. But, but uh, wait, over here, hard. over here, in this, on that furniture, my same fucking furniture, motherfucker, that you were making fun of me on that I Am Angela thing. The same furniture. <laughs> it's, it's, I uh, know, the fucking blue couch. Blue couch. Tom Byron sat there and said, what about that big dick Italian motherfucker? And we were going to shoot the orgy and fake things. One of the board, right? So they were jealous of you, sir, from the beginning. But we all learned something about how, you know, fucking can go to another level. Most of us B-class males. That's like me. I'm a B-class male. This guy, I don't know. He's like a zero class. No. He's a weird class male. Yeah. Anyway, but I'm a B-class male. You're an A-class male. When I flirt with girls... Uh, I don't have that same charisma. I don't. I don't. I. I don't. I, I don't have the self confidence, sir. And I don't really know what Joey has. I don't do anything. He doesn't do anything. But um, I go to the dance and stand in the corner. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. well, What did you, Joey, when you were 15 years old and you wanted? You know, you're just horny. I just. I, I would go to the beach and just wait. Joy. Really? True. Joy, yeah. Joy, Lorenzo Moretti says, please, any, any remember on the Australian Grand Prix with me, with Rocco, please. Because probably they heard about the discussion with Anna, <laughs> some, of, some of the guys, that's why they ask this. Do you know, you were you in Australia with yeah, Anna? Yeah, we so many For, movies uh, around the world together, help? all three of I, us yeah. and me and Joy. Unbelievable. The, the thing I remember about that is, is uh, I know say, uh, 
Artan Satan won, right? He won the race. And I don't even know why, but we had all access, yeah. remember? We were just right next to the fucking Arboreto, cars. It was crazy. Arboreto. Ferrari was Minardi at the time. Minardi was the car yeah. where we were shooting sex inside of the box. It was incredible. Crazy. Do this now. And they stopped the race because it yeah, was rain. I remember. But that was Satan the first. Was nuts. Satan, Satan was going by. And he was like going, fuck, stop the fuck. But, but you remember that was the first, first race of Schumacher. The first. I didn't, I don't know this, man. He no, was very this. young. was his first race. He, he started in Adelaide in a, a Grand Prix, uh, Australian Grand Prix. Schumacher. You knew him? No, wow. nobody knew him, but I remember him. And uh, uh, when I read about his story, he was the same race where we were shooting. And I remember they used to talk to him about new camera, new. He was brand new and he started with, I think, Benetton. Wow. Yes. Wow. And uh, Toro Rosso, the guy from, uh, at that time was uh, Minardi, uh, became Toro Rosso. And the, they told me, Rocco, we, has, we still have the tape of Alex Terenzi movies uh, in, uh, in uh, Grand Prix Australia. Wow. They still have the tape. So who were the, who were the girls in this Sunny movie? Sonny McKay. Well, Sonny I don't McKay. Sonny McKay. Sonny yeah, McKay. Sonny McKay directed by Alex Dorenzi, Microwave. Yeah. Wow. And that girl named after the uh, place in the middle of the country. What was her name? Um, April Springs. Yeah, April Springs. <laughs> April <laughs> Springs. Alice. Alice, Alice Springs. Alice, Alice Springs. Springs. Alice, yeah. April, you know. Come on, my brain doesn't okay. remember names. John so A. Joy, there is a guy for 20, it's 30 days I do this, 30 days. They always ask me about Ron Jeremy. That's tonight, the first time I can say to him, okay, we have two, only two people who can speak about Ron Jeremy. Tell us something about this guy because, you know, I, I've been asking every girl, nobody know him or somebody knows him, but they don't know personally. He's a huge, huge legend. I say, John and Joy can say something about Ron. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know. You know, I did a movie in 1979. I actually did okay in an orgy. Mm -hmm. I remember. I was having fun. Anyway, um, Ron Jeremy was in that movie in 79. Also, he shows up uh, in a, in a, with a motorcycle helmet on. I remember it didn't have a face guard. It looked kind of weird. Anyway, and he was kind of athletic. You know, he could juggle really good. And he was a good fucker. But I remember being next to him in the orgy, and I'm fucking, and he's fucking, and I'm thinking, you know, I don't have a big future in this uh, business or something. Anyway, he's a lot. Right, he was very talented, and I was a nobody. But uh, Joe, but Joy, Joy has huge amount of stories with Joy, with uh, Ron. Yeah, we were shooting, we were shooting Susie Superstar too, and they were doing the makeup down at the bottom of this boat. We were in the in the ocean, and. I remember the makeup girl said to Tracy Lords, wow, you're incredible. You have no pores in your skin. She was 15 years old later. Oh, my God. But anyways, Ron Jeremy. Wait, the, what does that have captain. to do with Ron Jeremy? Okay. Ron Jeremy was the captain of the boat. He's, like, grown up. <laughs> was but Joy, up. Joy, Joy, oh, we, we was Joy, do you remember, really? Joy, do you remember when oh. we were in Hanover? Do you remember in Hanover where you went to do the scene before me? I was supposed to do the second scene with another girl around Jeremy and the mosquito came and you told me, don't do it, don't do it. And then we did it for Ron and then we got all fucked up with mosquito. Yeah. That was fantastic. Fantastic. Well, my girl, wow. She wouldn't get out of the van to shoot. You went and shot and you came back and you were covered with mosquito bites. Oh my God. Ron Jeremy came back and you, you were shaking. <laughs> and Ron Jeremy came back and said, that was great. Oh, that was great. That was great. That was great. <laughs> he said, they don't like me because oh, we can't I'm say Jew. it. I'm Jew. I'm <laughs> Jew. Yeah. Okay. You can say it. I can't. Wow. They didn't bite him because he was what? He was, he, I was Italian. So I was Italian. He was a Jew and the, the mosquito was German. So they say they bite me, they bite uh, him, and they say, wow, fuck him, Jew. And then they went, let's go to the Italian. That was the joke. It was so funny. That was really funny. You laughed so much. You wound up in the hospital. I, went, I went so, up in the hospital and seven days with fuck him all, so all over my dick. It was terrible. Ron, Ron Jeremy didn't even care. That he didn't care too much, but we had so much fun. It's a long story, but we had to do exterior sex in this woods. 
in the Black Forest. Yeah. Okay. And the helicopter watching us in the distance. He said, what are those people doing? There's somebody talking through a screen I door. Know, this is this they is be, this man. is 2020 in Malibu. I'm sure. I mean, that's a sheriff's helicopter. You could, you could make the news so, real easy. Oh no, it could be a news <laughs> helicopter. Federico Faglioni wants to know from you guys what what is your remember about Cicciolina, Moana, or Eva Enger if you know her. Man, I didn't. Joey, come on, man, you're the you're oh, the guy. God. You did the travel. All, all I remember you, you, was you, you, the director just said her name, Cicciolini, Cicciolini, <laughs> Cicciolini, Mario Bianchi. Cicciolini. So you did some scenes. That's all they said was Cicciolini. Oh, what, a, John, did... what about the Luge, Randy Spears? What about Peter North? Okay, uh, John, what's your experience with Peter anyway. North? Do you, they want to know about Peter North. I met Peter North at, at Jim's house off Jim's house office in June of 1984. He was like a 23 year old kid, you know. And I remember um, him saying, "Yeah, I really want to work," you know. And I put him in a lot of movies back in the day. But back in, in the your day. experience, everybody's curious. Is true the story of the double prostate, or is it just a, a rumor? Oh my God! Uh, well, he did come like. Like he had two prostates. Yeah. I have no fucking idea. Peter North was such a fucking cool guy, man. Yeah. Incredible. He's, yeah. You anyway. star. Yeah. He's star. He's half Indian or something. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's selling. He's, he's from, uh, I guess it's Nova, Nova Scotia. Scotia yeah. And he's, he's Micmac. He's Micmac Indian. So that's the problem. Maybe maybe it's Indian. Micmac or Big Mac? <laughs> No, I don't know, but maybe that's why there must be. Maybe we need to go there and make some movies if we were gay. Maybe it was it would be the first time you see his load, it just blow your mind. Okay, Mirko ninety four, yeah. Joy. What is the thing that you prefer about TS? Uh God, I'm, I'm, I don't want to negate anybody, man. No, just just whatever you like, initial, whatever turns you on. Well, what what made me crazy initially was the the small hormone breast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Natural. I couldn't believe it when Natural. I saw it. I was Natural. like, whoa! <laughs> but then it grew into a lot of other shit. So, <laughs> but that was the initial thing. I just did a, a put together some scenes from Jason. There's a lot more to it. A lot of stuff <laughs> shot by. Anyway, this guy. We, are we going to talk about this stuff here, no. man? No, because Fr we're just, like being broadcast to the world. We got to keep some secrets. Mm -hmm. Right? No, but I'm just, I gave like this much of the story. But oh, that's this what much, this what much, was. this much, this much, this much. Do you remember Roberta? Robe Roberta. Roberto? With no. Roberta with the huge ass. Yeah, yeah Roberta with the, this was when he did, the, she was in the, the original first, Rogue the Adventure. first movie, the very first movie Joey ever did. And we're down in, anyway, we're not going to talk about that here. Who is now. Roberto? She's Who is Roberto? Roberta was like this big. It was like a play uh -huh. I don't know it. Uh, okay, Federico Faglioni said, did you prefer when the girls was airy on the pussy, airy pussy, or now? Not. Sorry. Now? No. Nah, well, I can nah, deal with it. Nah, I can deal with nah, it. Nah, we like, we like, uh, there. We're, we're, from, the, we're from the era of Irish. hair. I'm from my Irish. I'm too dark. I, well, I'm from the era of hair. Like in, when you shot in 74, there was always a uh, smell of urine. The smell of I, urine. And I stunk too. The smell I guarantee of you, urine. I guarantee you, I oh, stunk. Oh, fuck, man. There we go. I got exposure. I, got I don't remember ever ever cleaning up before a scene exposure. for the first fucking five years of my career, probably. You don't remember so ever doing that? I can't. One. No, I don't know. So I probably stunk. But oh, my director, God. So, but John, the but John as director, do you don't think pussy, oh, uh, pussy with air, it's more sexy? You know... I was just on Chatterbait the other day, and there was some, you know, maybe it was uh, one of them tube sites. I don't know, but there was extra hair, and it wasn't, it, it was not that bad. I don't know. I love it. But generally speaking, I come from the era that Joey comes from, of shaved pussies. And I prefer a, a nice... hair pussy, not shaved. I don't know. I prefer a shaved pussy. You prefer pussy. shaved yeah, maybe because yeah. that uh, that's that's little. I'm square. That, uh, you like to you like maybe it's like I don't know. I don't know. I I like both. But uh, let's say Harry Pussy. I miss. I miss Harry yeah. Pussy. I miss Harry Pussy. Mal, uh, Matt Paul. They have worked with Tracy Lords. Some memory about her. Both of you. You work with Tracy. Oh man. Oh man. 
No, wait, I, don't, I, I can't say that I, I... I was replaced by Tom Byron because I wasn't any good in a Tracy Lords thing. I, I had to play a director in a theater or something. This was I like there. This was 1980. You know, I, I don't... These are... It's embarrassing. I don't want to talk about it. But this guy, you work with her, right? Yeah. She was, she was fine. Yeah. She was fantastic. She was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, one question from my teeny fan. I have a big friend, she's a teenager, Ilaria Will. Ilaria Will. What guys sincerely think about Squirt? Is P or what is? Squirt! Yeah. Squirt! Squirt! Hey, I almost went to jail for 32 years because this guy did a movie called yeah. Storm oh, Squirters okay. 2, subtitled target practice Bad federal case yeah. so yeah it, it, it got played in court girls probably, were, yeah, we shouldn't yeah. talk about that so basically anyway. so basically How so basically uh it, it's it's not oh, p it's it, not it, p it, no, it's real when it's real it's real you put it in your fingers you can feel it it's got it's got a substance to it oh okay. let's put it's p mixed the other with, stuff i don't want to say p mixed with Girls come, man. But come when on. the first, I mean, let's not lie. Work, but but really Joy, work. Joy, do you know one time? One time I call, I saw one of your movies, fantastic, and I see girls squirt all over the place by like two meters, three meters, and I said, "Fuck, this is obvious. It's not all real." And I, I call John and I say, "John." For, so finally, we can do a P movie. He says, "Rocco, don't never fucking do this. Never." play this game oh. it's very dangerous you remember this and uh, and i say i say to you but this is not and you said it's whatever you want but don't call p you remember yeah. you told me don't We're call not p. Gonna talk about what it is i don't know of course everybody knows it's p a lot of it's p i don't know my, my you know you lose the girl loses control of yeah, her bladder to, to, me, going... to me john to me it's just the you know, I call, I, you know I call this liberation of orgasm feminine orgasm liberation that means whatever comes yeah. out comes out yes it's that's yes. that's the main yes. thing it's like l w the girls wants to have orgasm and they want to have exactly like the man and they can just bring yeah. whatever oh man. but but this is always the the conflict of the people who doesn't know how to make the people squirt so they don't understand you know um you know what it is man you hook it up inside you get horse, remember horse? Jesus Christ. Jay Lasseter. Yeah, I remember horse. Jay Lasseter. Horse joy, used to do joy, it with that. I love, I love anything comes out, so you know me. <laughs> yeah, you know Jay Lasseter, right? Yeah, horse, big horse. Horse was the German guy who Menace. played with his girl, who did rough stuff, and he shot it back when the day when when only Rocco Zafredi was shooting rough stuff. Nobody. So somebody, somebody ah. just said this. What John thinks about you, Rocco, for real? I said, John would say whatever. Uh, He's listen. a big minkia. <laughs> Rocco's gotten all the credit for all, you know, he's just way better. I don't know. I don't know. I can't make a joke about this, Rocco. It's been pretty good working with you. I, you know, it's just been pretty See, good. You, Rocco work, is you work really hard. And I don't mean hard dick. I mean, like, you're, you're, you're just, like, very uh, ambitious to do a good job. And that's a pleasure that's to because, work with. That's Rocco's because I come from Abruzzo. Abruzzo. Yeah, Abruzzo. Abruzzo means people who <laughs> likes to do things for real and not bullshit. Rocco is yeah. one of the most charismatic people I've ever met, without a doubt. Maybe the most. <laughs> yeah. And, and the funniest, the funniest jo people, Joy, period. Joy, how many crazy That's stuff, Rocco. how many crazy stuff I did in Brazil. Yeah. Come on, man. You so they, so those oh, motherfuckers, on, me listen, you, I rented an apartment for Rocco and Joey, right? And, and, and I don't, it wasn't good enough for him or something, because by the time... I had to like turn it into the landlord. The beds were like broken and on the floor there was like water <laughs> leaking and towels all over the place. It was horrible. How much was the what phone happened? Bill? What oh my god, the phone bill too. That was something. The phone bill was twelve hundred dollars, right? <laughs> this, was, this was when we had landlines, you know, we didn't have cell phones. This was the early but there 90s. is one guy broke, there is one guy who's definitely better than everybody of us putting together Gino Asia say please. Guys, legends, what do you think about Titi Boy? I know this.
this is the guy who's better right. than everybody as performer. Joey knows. Joey Absolutely. Knows. Joey knows nobody Titi nobody boy can beat Titi Boy. He's like Martello Pneumatico. Pound for pound, the best. Kilo pound for pound. The pound. best in the history. Pound for pound. He's the best in the history. I You're right. Ragazzi, Titi Boy, ricordatevelo, piccolino, ma una macchina, una macchina da guerra, guerra, the war machine. Oh, everybody asking, please, it seems you have a lot of fans here because they know exactly the people. Ah, uh, Annette Schwartz, oh. Annette Schwartz, John, what do you think about Miss Annette Schwartz? One of the biggest mistakes of my life was not to put her in the lead of the second fashionistas movie i mean i did have katsumi and or katsuni my katsumi was is. incredible too come on she was incredible Melissa loren was incredible and that schwartz came to t see me in my office and she's wearing her pajamas and she's jumping up and down saying, oh i want to be in the fashionistas movie yeah i love rock and roll i love rock and roll i had no idea the, how good she could be as a dom and powerful and stuff And you told me, and eventually I saw your scene, but I'd already cast the movie, whatever. Anyhow, and that Schwartz was phenomenal. What a body. What a fucking body. She I shot her running. every chance I could. Man, and she, I was just jerking off to her. She took the dick down her throat and she just like stand there. And I, I thought back to that wonderful day back in 2006, Rocco, when he, she kept her mouth on your dick too long and she cut your I penis. Remember. It's a long I story. Remember. Yeah. I remember there was there was you remember the scene where the four girls for fashionistas they were beating me up and then when I stood yeah. I stood up I went like boom <laughs> in the floor that was an experience that was really incredible yeah we all killed Rocco that day that was that like, was an experience oh that was an experience <laughs> that would not have been good uh, if, but now sir. people wants to know about your probably biggest 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 actress forever Bella Donna. Belladonna. 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 Joey shot Belladonna a bunch of times early on, and she had, like, the smile on her face while she was doing really nasty deep throat and stuff like that, and, and it was, like, on another level. Right, Joey? Yeah. And you shot her with that, that one scene with uh, her friend from uh, uh, that state, Utah, I think. Yeah. Anyway, and that was an amazing scene. She was... She was... She was the first person I was that, lucky. that I ever shot, that I, that I thought to. that I was shooting a world-class athlete. Yeah. At her job. At her job. Yeah, she really... Um, she was like, like Ronaldo. I mean, she was like a world-class athlete um, at her unbelievable. job. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, it was so fun. There is somebody who knows you. Uh, nobody knows you better than John, I guess. Mark Wood and Francesca Lee, because I've been asking many times about this question, but tonight I think you can say something about them. Mark and Francesca. Yeah. You know, Francesca was, uh, is a great I work dom. With her. She... I worked with her before she was, actually, when she was uh, a performer, before she met uh, Mark. Uh, Mark. So we have a connection over Francesca, because he told me to hire her back in 1992. Two, when I was shooting Face Dance, and she was in that orgy scene with Joey, uh -huh. uh, if he yeah. remembers. Yeah. Correct. She, wait, she could be on your show, man. Yeah, she was great. She was like. I don't have her contact. You know, I'll oh, send we'll to me that yeah. would be fantastic. Uh, so um, they want to know, you know, just because you guys have been in the business for so long, many people are curious about the truth, John Holmes. How. John, how was on the set? How was he really big star? Like uh, he he was acting as a big star, or he was a normal guy like everybody? That's basically what I want to know. You know I, I met John Holmes in '83 after he got out of jail. It's a long story, and I was on the same orgy with him. And I remember after we were shooting and cleaning up, he picked up a broom and started helping everybody clean up. But this guy knows John Holmes. You talk, sir. You know when I when I first when I first met John Holmes it was like what 75 probably 1975 yeah and it? I was I in a, in the Tenderloin in San Francisco and I was in an elevator and John Holmes comes in the elevator and for some reason he knew me which was shocking yeah but he told me he told me that Jesus this sounds so weird he told me he owned a button factory a button factory in Beverly Hills he owned a button what the fuck? a button factory what the fuck? And I remember thinking, like, why the fuck would he say he owns a button factory? <laughs> he, 
He told he told stories sometimes. So he was funny guy. But so he was very funny and nice guy. I I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm he talking was, he you, was, the people are curious to know how how was he performed at that time there was existing the fluffers or not? Because in, in Buddha in Rome when she, he was working with Chicholina, he had a two fluffer girl close to him. The sister of Moana and Duo. Oh. You remember, remember in Rome yeah. when we were in the same yeah, hotel, and he and he had he had he had the guy fill a wine bottle full of espresso. You remember I that? Remember very well. Christophe and took me to the set. Yeah, because I was and I was then, just starting, and Christophe took me to the set to see the movie with Cholina and John Holmes. Wow. So there's one, just there's something to, to think about John Holmes. When he was younger and he got hard, like on his own, his dick was like fucking yeah. huge. And the scenes were way better than when he was older and he had to have fluffers and stuff. I he was always say. nice to me, man. But, wow. I never. Uh, no, the girl was in the orgy. It was being shot by this Carlos Topolina guy. Whatever his, uh, Carlos Topolina, I don't know. I probably shouldn't be saying somebody's real name. Was that, was that was a shooting name. That was a shooter's yeah. name. Yeah. Anyway, so John Holmes is doing the scene with this girl, and she says, "Please put it in my ass. I can't take you in my pussy." <laughs> okay. Wound up uh, dating that girl too. This was like '83. It's crazy. Yeah, but that's because we're talking about sex. All, all better was the sex by then. I remember guys was always fighting to do the sex. Now it's like, it's when I shoot people fucking in Europe, it's a little bit more difficult. Like it's more. They don't really get this chemistry. They don't really get this involvement of they want to have sex together. It's like too much, yeah. too much, too yeah. much. I remember that by then, I remember playing with Joy. Oh, fuck, I wish I would fuck her. I, I, I hope they put me with her. Was like really try to have fun. Well, That's we're, st we're, still, we're still getting man. that. You know, every once in a while you get a girl that really... You know, Absolutely. that's the whole point of Gonzo is to yeah, try and man. find oh, that fantastic. as a director to find try and find real moments with people, and it, it's much harder, I know, in Europe. And your standards are pretty high there, no, sir. It's, it's fantastic, and, and you're expecting a lot, and it's hard. People get intimidated around you, Rocco. I know. So Come anyway, on. John Holmes, yeah, it's John true. Holmes is it's like. True. What can you say? Well, right, give us a chance. Yeah. Give us little guys. Us little guys. A little guy. Little guys. <laughs> uh, they want, okay, okay, another question is what's the main difference between work with European and American? Oh man. Joey knows this better than me. I don't know. For me as a director, yeah. as uh, director. You, you know you find more uh American girls that are really willing to work hard and to do uh a, a really good job. Not always, of course, but on average, you there are girls that are just more, more into it. Yeah, and they find ways to push themselves to do like deep throat or squirting or anal or something or just personality-wise, they're pushing themselves. Yeah. And in in Europe, in the past, there wasn't that incentive. A girl would be like pretty, and in Budapest, you could work. For two hundred dollars a month or something like that. Not uh, anymore. Doing not anymore. Not anymore. I don't know what it's like no, there no, now. No, no, it's like anyway. every every place in Europe. Like this, they call it Smig. They call it the level. It's the same. Italy, French. You get the same money, salary. Oh wow. Anyway, uh, so but the girls weren't into it. In East, beautiful girls in Eastern Europe. Beautiful but I girls. I tell but you, now, 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 at the moment, the last few years, we have really girls in Europe like Cherry Kiss, Amira Dara, Tiffany Tatum, oh, yeah. uh, Kyla yeah. Green, uh, Veronica Lille, Colombian girls. We have girls, also some Spanish girls who they came over. We have girls who are working hard. Malena, Martina, you met Martina, she worked for you. So we, yeah, we have, we right have some girls exactly. who start to be at the American level, for sure. Wait, the helicopters are flying by. They want to make sure we're, we've got a barrier between us or something. I don't know. No, anyhow. Joy, everybody wants to know why American TS are so much better than so many TS around the world. 
Wow. Many people was wow. asking this. What, what's the secret? Is the professionality, the fact of they take porn more, more serious? But what is? I think it's this, no? Honestly, it's, I, think, I, think, I think they just took over. They took over, huh? They didn't even, they didn't even mean to do it. They're just so, their lives are so versatile that they're so smart. I can't even tell you, man. It's an unbelievable experience shooting them. Um, I because now but they, I think, come, they come over here very often. I think Thai TS really under, underrated. I think Brazil, horny like you can't believe. That's a but good But the thing. whole mentality of American TS is... It's cultural. cultural. You know, it's, it's, they're so smart. There's, there's it's more uh, freedom, I think, when they're kids, and, and they grow up with more freedom to be themselves. Could be, yeah, could be. They On average, although after yeah. this fucking corona crisis, who knows what's going to happen, man. I think we're in you trouble. Know what, you know something. what they say here? After coronavirus, a lot of girls will join the business, a lot of new girls. Oh, well, that would be interesting. The, the agency already yep. said that they start to get so many, so many applying, so many girls applying for work. Wow. Joey, let's go to you. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. Hey, we'll do like, you know, the old guys movie. There was a movie that was like the, 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 the disposables or whatever that movie was. The dispensables. What was the thing with uh, Sylvester yeah. Stallone? Yes, and, uh, we, uh, and yes I know. He, um, e come si chiama quel film di Stallone Lori? Uh, wasn't it just no it was I don't know fans i film di Stallone come era quello i mercenari the mercenaries the mercenaries yeah they probably changed it for for the mercenaries the mercenari. were sounded better uh, okay Alessio Brabus wants to know what's your origin John my yeah. origin well listen yeah. wikipedia had it wrong for a while It said that I was like half Italian and half Eastern European Jewish. <laughs> feed, but I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm all Italian. My grandmother, on, well, my, my, my grandfather on my, on my father's side is from the South. Staliano, Italiano, all the L I A N O's. Napoli, Napoli. And my mother, Napoli area, yeah. Like Cal Cali. Cal Cali? Whatever. Cali? Calabria. Cal ah, no, no. Calabria e la Calabria, Napoli e la Campania. So tu sei calabrese. Something. Like Reggio anyway, Calabria, mother, Reggio Calabria. But my mother's maiden name is Lencioni and her, her mother used to sell hats on the Ponte Vecchio in ah, Florence. Ah, okay. So, uh, that's, that's where I get my artistic Joy side. Silvera, I, Joy Silvera is from Modena, one time he told me, no? North, no, Modena, yeah, Joy? Where? Yeah, Modena, yeah, where? yeah. Modena. Yeah. So you must to tell me, because here we have the only occasion of my life to say this. Why all the best actors, performers in the world, they have Italian origin? Uh, John Leslie, Abruzzese, jo, uh, Tom yeah. Byron origine italiana uh, Freddy Piantadosi yeah, yeah. uh, Freddy Lincoln Freddy Piantadosi which is Italian Freddy and many more why? because uh, Italian do it better or what? <laughs> pizza figa Maybe and mandolino before. pizza figa e mandolino no I... because the mafia gets them hooked in you know <laughs> yeah. 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 Every la mafia no, la mafia ci ha fatto entrare nel business <laughs> Yeah, generational, generational. I think, I think you have to be crazy and you have to also be a little bit smart and a little bit creative. And Italians are a little bit of everything in that way. That's, They're that's kind clear. of very emotional and expressive, but also artistic and stuff in ways that other nationalities might be smarter, might be this, might be that, but we're like a combination and a good way to be filmmakers, I guess. Joy, a couple of words for you to identify John John Leslie, your big friend, he was a huge, 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 huge star and was your biggest friend, I know. Oh, man. Johnny. I don't Johnny. even know the words, man. The, we, were, we were very I know, close. I know. He I know. helped me out in so many circumstances, man. I know. 
Biggest, I remember, I remember big, biggest stick in the world, right? Biggest stick in the world. <laughs> you can't tell us. Oh, I'm sorry. But, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you a quick Whatever. story. No, Johnny I got was pulled talented. over. I bought this old Mercedes. Oh. I got pulled over in Sausalito, and it came up stolen, and it just it scared it scared me beyond anything. So they put me in jail, and somehow, I mean, I was there. It turned out that the the, the car that I bought was originally stolen. It was a story, but it had nothing to do with me. But John actually went in there, and, and he took the whole blame for everything. He got me out of there. Really? That's the kind, yeah. And I hardly, we, we just new friends. Wow. That's the kind of yeah. guy he was. John really, was uh, pretty uh, Incredible, incredible. You can't for, even, for, uh, you can't, for the Italian people, the, the okay. fan probably, they didn't see all his work, but he was yeah. genius okay. guy. Do you remember, Joy, you remember once we were in Cannes shooting my second movie where I met Rosa, my wife? Quent, Quent, yeah. Quentin Tarantino show up on the set. We were on the set with Ron Jeremy. Do you remember? He was not famous. And he said, John, he said, I don't know if I told you the story. He said uh, to J Ron, introduced me to him. And he said, oh, you the Italian in Chameleon. I'm like, do you watch for the movie? He said, hey, come on. And then he said... He said, uh, how many days did uh, John Leslie shoot this movie? I said, five. He said, fucking genius. <laughs> and the next year, he was Quentin Tarantino. He won for Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, he said, we're, wow. I'm here with a little movie no, called Reservoir no, Dogs. No, Pulp Fiction, sorry. If he won with Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction, yeah. The, yeah. the, the well, year after, Reservoir Dogs. and he knew John Leslie. Uh, he admired his work. He said, he said, really, you remember, he said, He's a genius. He made this movie in five days. So that's that's yeah. how much an artist John Leslie was. Fantastic. One of the best ever director in the world, I, I believe. Okay, just one uh, question to John. Few words because many fans ask, we know John knew Gabby, Gabriele, the big gallet. Yeah. Some some yeah. some I, I know you admire him. You f you always fought. You always told me you and your cousin you are fantastic couple, magic couple, something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys uh, were a good team. But uh, you know, we had a meeting uh, with our, our web partner, mm -hmm. the same partner you have, and and they were talking about the most highly rated scenes and the guys you should should work more. And they had this data guy who didn't know porn, who's listed names, and he says. Well, the person who's the most highly rated, every one of his scenes he's done is this guy, Gabriel Zero. <laughs> incredible, and, incredible. And he only did, what, how many scenes did he do for you? Like five or ten, yeah. I don't know. But some fun ones. I do remember one scene where at the end of the scene, you come and whatever, and you guys are both actors in front. I don't know who was behind the camera. And you started singing a song <laughs> in Italian. I don't know if you remember, I remember that. I remember. That pretty fun. I remember also in Brazil, in the bus for you. Oh my God! Well, when Chicago, when you did the song, <laughs> this, of the Chicago, song of Chicago was fantastic. I have that on video somewhere. I don't know what we did with it. it might be in a BTS or something like that. You know, it could anyway. have been before or after Flash Dance. You remember Flash Dance? Face Dance, Face Dance, Face Dance. That was oh, another that was, movie we forget to talk about. Face Dance. It. I, I don't think you started working with government. Gabrielle until like 299, 98 yeah, or something. We start right then, right then. When I start, you know, when I start, uh, no, with Gabby, I start uh, on the 90, 96. 96. Yeah, 96. Uh, because I started my open. first movie, 93. For a couple of years, I worked right. alone and then he came back because for a while he disappeared because he wanted to be an actor, but he couldn't. Then he decided to come back. Well, he was, uh, he used to do those uh, swinger resorts in the south of France yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Brag about uh, some fantasy sexual stuff that I wish I'd always been able to do, but I never did. He, 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 had, he enjoyed his life. Didn't he live in Cuba yeah. for a while too? The winter time. Oh. When we was working, we did 10 years working together. Summertime, then he, leave, uh, he go to for a few months in Cuba to have fun. He enjoys yeah. life. He really put all his efforts to the movies. 
you will receive his last movie, Game of Horse, with uh, Martina and Malena. Uh, you will love it. It's fantastic. It's a really fantastic okay. movie, what he did. And uh, I guess, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's crazy the way he left, but that's life. Anyway, I just wanted to have, I don't know, Joy, he knew him, but I don't know if he spent so much time with him. I don't remember. Yeah, just he, 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 if, if you met him, you knew him right away. You just knew him. And you know how much he made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Always. I don't know what these guys are talking about. Gabriel he, just, was, he just put himself out there. He did. He did. He was, he was. He was the Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson, Definitely. yeah. Mel Gibson. Or, or, Definitely. or. Same. Same as Mel Gibson, man. Or maybe, maybe sometimes uh, David, uh, David Bowie, we used to call him. Who? David Bowie. David Bowie. Yeah, he used, yeah. He used to, you know, he was a very romantic guy. Very, very romantic. Very. Big uh, hair. A lot of hair. Yeah, too, too much, much hair. hair. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have so much hair anymore. But yeah, he had a lot of hair. Back in the day. Back in the day. Fucking 2000. Man, I remember driving to a restaurant. We're going with, um, I think you and me were in a car or something like that. And he was in the van in the back with Kelly Stafford in the back of the van. And he was driving the van and you were driving the car. And you were like going, driving so fast through Rome. And we almost hit some guy who was just walking across the street and just stop and we had to slam on the brakes. <laughs> and Kelly was saying that, that she was like falling, bouncing around in the back of the van. You guys were crazy together. You remember this. Uh, uh, just because you mentioned some words about Kelly Stafford, you met her very well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do remember Kelly Stafford quite well. Come on. <laughs> and uh, I, I, Kelly was, uh, you know, sometimes I feel like a minor leaguer compared to you guys. Yes. I hate to say it, you know? <laughs> Joey knows what no, we're but talking it's about. Not, it's not true, John, because a lot of things came from you. You remember you and Joy used to laugh at me when I make my first, second, third, four, five, six movies, and even more, more, more. You used to laugh at me and say, why you guys laugh? Because you love to cut the head. You love. You are the cutter, <laughs> you used to tell me. You are the cutter. Like this? <laughs> cut the head off. Who cares? It's just his penis down there. His, 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 his where? My yeah, camera. We, oh, we, man. Are, we, we, I mean, we, even me, even Gabby, we share and we really appreciate all your, your advice always. So, yeah, but you know, something, Rocco, you do everything very well and you work really hard despite the fact that, um, you don't have the culture. Sometimes in America, you was more of a filmmaking culture, like with John Leslie and stuff. And, and I don't know, you always put yourself and figured out how to excel in the world market in different ways. Not always easy. So, not always easy. It's Tarzan. Not, not always here. easy. Oh, man. You want to you come in here? It's, I'll Tarzan it's really, it's I'll really hot it. right now. It is hot. It is hot. It's going to be what we call 90 degrees. Tarzan. I don't know what that is in, in Celsius, but uh, uh, it's almost 27, 26, 27. Uh, in the valley, in the valley. In here, it's only like probably, he's probably 80 degrees, 83, something. Don't there, you all There is man. one guy here. There is yeah. one guy, John, there is one guy. It's the last question. There is one guy who's asking uh, you, do you think Rocco will still perform at your age? I don't know why he's asking this. I, 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 I hope Rocco's performing for a little while longer because I've got a couple other weird ideas <laughs> floating around in my head. <laughs> this shoot. I really want to do this uh, virus script with Angela White. But let's talk, I have let's, no think, idea. let's talk a little bit about this idea because I think it's fantastic that you use finally the coronavirus into the script. You switch the script so fast and you... And you I, made it this content inside because I think it's very smart. I think uh, the new the new just, mentality after coronavirus will be a little bit changed. You will be one of the first to to move into yeah. this direction. It, I I view it as being very risky because you don't want people to not social distance, and yet the fact that 
more older people like myself die and the fact that the debt that America is creating through these stimulus programs and stuff like that, that they're just expanding the money supply. So it's like taxing the people. It's like your dollar is now worth less because now they printed all these extra dollars. And it's it's young people that are going to have to pay that. It's my children. It's your children, Rocco, that are going to have to pay off debt that we're incurring right now at this age. And it's not fair to young people. A lot of stuff is not fair to young people. We just take advantage of them. So, And that's kind of what the story is about a little bit, a lot of bit. I don't know. But is that politically correct? I don't know. These young people are going to get us in trouble because they're going to infect all the old people. I don't know. Maybe that's true. Rocco, this is a tough one. Yeah, it's tough. It's definitely tough, but we cannot solve the problem, uh, us. So it's good you put on script because it's, uh, I think it's very nice to connect the reality to the sexuality because the sexuality keeps the life, I think, that's on my life at least. And I think yours too joy to keeps keeps us in life sex yeah right yeah well you know that power is something you just can't underestimate uh and people don't accept it as much in some circles and uh, i the world i don't know man we're living in a great time of freedom from like the sexual revolution until the 60s until 2019 and after that might be different. I hope not, but who knows? You know, uh, I always ask this question as the last. What do you think about coronavirus? Is real? Is fake? It's made it? It's, re- it's like natural? Well, the science is pretty... Uh, I mean, of course it's real. Um, how dangerous it really is depends on how many people really got infected i uh, guess what you mean what do you mean uh, no i mean uh, sorry i didn't mean it's real or fake i mean it's uh, it's uh, made it or it's natural oh <laughs> what happened in china when it got when it got released and all that yeah. stuff yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I i like to believe in the conspiracy theory sometimes and I do believe that the communist Chinese are not good people, that they repress the truth and stuff like that. However, the actual origins, I don't think were intentionally, I don't think it was an intentionally created bioweapon. Oh, maybe it was. Fuck if I know. It, what, did it really come from that wild animal market or did it really come from that lab yeah. in Wuhan, yeah. China? Is that what yeah. you're asking? Oh, yeah. geez. I, I tend to think it really came from the lab, to tell you the yeah. truth, because they lied about everything else they might as well lie about that too of course so this is exactly so. this is exactly what i think i don't think it's yeah. natural i think it's made it politics yeah. economics all involved joy silvera grazie mille that was a nice surprise john really thank you thank you thank you i hope we will meet okay. uh, very soon uh did you yeah. already cast uh, some other people or you stopped completely about cast people no uh, I did talk to some other people for uh, fashionistas. I, I mean, Riley Reed. I had she was committed to doing the movie, but I can't use her. Why? Um, well, I'm not going to shoot in June. I mean, I have to rebook yeah, it. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I mean, if uh, if we shoot later, you may have everybody available. I may, or it may be crazy. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I just know that. Um, my work at Evil Angel is more difficult than ever just for right now. But once once we get through the movies that we've already shot, fuck, it might be less work than ever. I don't know. Fortunately, I've made enough money so that if it, <laughs> things don't work yeah, out, I, know what you mean. I can I know what you mean. somehow. You still, you still are know. okay. Perfetto. Grazie, Joy. Grazie, John. Thanks a lot. It was a very nice surprise. We didn't know about Joy. I want to put this picture Joy. to Joy. To Joy, yeah, we didn't know you were. That was a nice surprise. You didn't tell me nothing. Grazie mille. All right. Ciao. Grazie, 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 grazie. Ciao.